Hello everybody, how you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Salsa and Bachata Moves, where I break down Salsa and Bachata Moves. My name is Alexandros, I'm from the island of Cyprus, and in this YouTube channel, except combinations of course, we also break down techniques, spinning, musicality, and questions that you might have in the comments. And I had one of those questions about how can you do freestyle in each different song and make it look different? How can I freestyle? And I decided to make this video to explain in my series, Let's Talk Salsa. And this is about how to freestyle with a structure. And you're like, wait, 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 just get everything right. You want me to get a structure in order to freestyle? Yes. Let me just put a side note. I'm also a musician playing guitar for over 18 years. And I can play freestyle improvisation with a guitar with another musician. The way I can do that is that I've learned over 100 scales in salsa combinations, which gave me the confidence to be able to do it. And then when I hear it, I can mix max any way I want. But that is not the point about freestyling. It's not about combinations, it's not about footwork, and it's not even about the height of musicality. And before I get started, yes, I haven't even got started, and we have so much information, and I'd like you to get this information because dancing is not only about moving your feet and moving your hands, it's also about thinking correctly, all right? And what this video will do to you, it will change the way you freestyle. It will put you into a mold, yes, and then you will break out of that mold, all right? You don't want to modify an engine when you don't know how the engine works first. So put yourself in a mold with some examples that I'll give you, and they are very easy to remember. And after you learn in this video what you really want and gain what you want, the knowledge, I have another video or a playlist actually I'll put here where you can go and listen about musicality and that will help you more with your freestyle to go, to go in depth. And also, it has nothing to do if you are on one dance or on two dance or if you're dancing Colombian, song, uh, classical mambo, moderno mambo, New York, <laughs> LA, there's just so many things. It's just the way you're going to be changing a few things in order to look better. So there's, let's just get this out of the way and tell me if you agree. If you watched enough salsa videos, freestyle, social dancing, you've noticed that like three basic ways people do it. They are like from beginning to end, combination, 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 which I will not disagree in any of them because, for example, uh, a very good leader that's getting with a very good partner, three and a half minutes of non-stop combinations, I wouldn't want to watch it again, but I'm going to be very glad that I watched it because I'm going to be like, Holy crap, what was that? Was that a show? Yeah, you could say they're showing off, but that's their level and that's how they dance. A second way would be somewhere in the middle where you do combinations and let go of the lady and go back to her. And the third and last way would be um, moving around up and down with the song combination. Well, you know what I mean? Cross body lead, progressional turns, changing directions all the time, or how long you stay standing put and doing hand works like the Cuban. All right, so even if it's a cross body or whatever, that has to do with what we're talking about. Now that we are about aware about how much, and each one of them, it's how much percentage we put, let's talk about something that we're not gonna be talking about the rest of the video. There is a music, uh, a mathematical structure of the intro, and then the post intro, and then the refrain, and in, in Spanish people call them the mambo part, the martillo part, which is the basic pattern of the bongo. Uh, you have your basic tumbao. So you can learn all these things, yes, but I don't really think you should, because in music you can really hear the changes happening. And in my suggestion is that you have to learn as many combinations first as you can to get the confidence when you dance with the lady that you're not gonna run out. And you're gonna pass through that stage of doing a lot of combinations and then after you've learned them, you're just gonna start saying, okay, there's something else missing. That's your own styling. You're gonna wanna let go of the lady. It's part of it, it's the descarta part, okay? Or the other parts I mentioned. It's where the music, 
uh, changes into a slower or a faster pace because music goes up and down. It's not always a there's very few songs that just go flat and you don't listen to them because they're not very good and pleasant to the ear. So it's very important to think that I'm not gonna dance from beginning to end by my personal opinion, combinations, combinations. I will do that only to start with. A side note, I have an offer for $6.99 50 salsa combinations from a put over intermediate, advanced, and master level plus 11 bonus videos for $6.99. You can find the first link in the description, guys. So if you want to get a lot of combinations in your mind, so you get the confidence, that's it. I have them with music and then straight away the lesson. Yes, I know it's over five hours of video teaching. It's a lot of material, but you don't have to do everything. You just take what you want and get your confidence. Then you start letting go of the lady in the parts of the music that change and you start learning footwork. With your footwork, it doesn't have to be salsa. It can be a little bit of salsa, a little bit of uh, isolations, reggaeton, playing with your hands, doing a limbo, whatever you like, whatever style is in your background. And then find when the music changes again to the next part from going percussions, percussion, percussions to the piano, grab the lady again. So here comes the balance, guys, and the structure. Do you want to stay and continuously stay away from your lady too long? I've seen a video of 30 seconds where they actually hold the lady away and the guy was doing his things. It was amazing from my point of view because I enjoyed the dancer doing musicality. But many people said, why do you let go of the lady for 30 seconds? And it's a little bit true, she had nothing to do but doing her basics. She couldn't follow what the guy was doing. It was very difficult. So uh, guys, you will never let go of a lady that uh, is a beginner or an improver and doesn't know a lot of things. And how do you know? When you let her go and you see she doesn't know a lot, you dance mostly with her in combinations. But again, that takes you to the extreme side of doing too much combinations. And then the salsa will look flat because I'm always doing movements, movements, movements. We're coming to the third and last part of having balance of movement in space. If you do a lot of combinations that have handwork, handwork, and you're on the spot, and you're always facing this way, and you're doing either Cuban or throwing or spinning or anything, or all the time on the same spot, a lot of footstep, if you're doing, uh, you know, Gali style, the, the eye will get bored. You need to move and progress. That's why we always need about one and a half square meter or just one square meter to dance, all right? So find a balance, not even 50-50, find your own balance of doing something on the spot and progressing the lady with a Lille Geno if it's Cuban, with a crossbody lead if it's a crossbody style, uh, you know, and if it's Puerto Rican, again, the crossbody lead and change direction. Make movements while changing directions. Then doing on the spot a few of them. You see, I'm not telling you even what to do. It could be an on the spot turn. And the last and most important advice that I can give you is, there are over 30 style of salsa. There is the standard styles, you know, Puerto Rican and Colombian and Cuban and LA and New York and jazz. But there's also R&B, there's also soul. You know, they've mixed a lot of songs. I mean, tell me any song you like. I like uh, strumming my pain with his fingers, singing my life with his words. And remember, this one was from Sinatra, and then it was signed from a girl, and then they turned it into a salsa. I'm Beethoven, the Fifth Symphony turned into a salsa. So where am I going with this? Try whatever on one, on two, whatever you're dancing on, try to get the feeling of the song. Is it romantic? Is it funky? Is it smooth? Is it uh, with a lot of pausing and it needs power? Learn yourself, I know it sounds difficult, learn yourself. Teach yourself with the basics first. If it's salsa romantica, dance with your partner and try to do all the moves with more smoothness so you fit to the music. And remember the rules of not staying always on the spot, progressing, moving up and down. But again, not always moving up and down, staying in a little bit on the spot as well. So the eye doesn't get bored of up and down, up and down. Don't do full combinations. Let go of the lady and do some things. 
And when you do the footwork, communicate with her, look at her as well. Do a turn towards her and give her a wink and move away. Play with the melody and put yourself in this mold for the beginning. And then each song, because they are there's the same instruction, but they are in different orders, there are different melodies, there are different instruments. You will have the fun of your life. And again, find in the second link of the description, the musicality, uh, playlist where I explain in more depth how you can express in freestyle. The third link is where I dance with many ladies from around the world freestyle doing from complicated combinations to simple depending on the lady I'm dancing with but making it interesting while keep on moving, keep on moving, staying on the spot but not for too long, changing when the music is changing, letting it go when the music is changing, going back to her exactly when the music is changing again. So I call them mini stories. And one more time guys, if you like my videos and you like to help yourself and help myself as well in the channel grow, uh, many people have started buying this offer because it is a one-time offer. I mentioned it before, 50 salsa combinations. That's six gigabytes of download in five folders. Improvers, intermediate, advanced, master level. If you're a beginner, I have another link in the description where you can get two hours of teaching you from beginner to a social dancer. Then you can purchase the 50 salsa combinations because the lessons are fully accurate, but they're not for beginners, okay? So if you're a beginner, you can apply the structure I'm saying, but uh, combinations and more difficulty, you still have to learn those well first before you go into complicated and more combinations, yes? So I would suggest rewind this video and write down what was more important for you. What are the things you are not doing of the things that I mentioned in your dance? Are you staying too much on the spot? Are you always going up and down around the lady? Are you from the beginning straight away, even if it's romanticas? taking your best and most powerful combinations in a romantic song. You know, you gotta think of these things and they are very important. And once you change that, the ladies will just wanna dance with you more and more because they, you help them feel the song. And that's something that I consider a gift. And when the ladies have that talent too, then you have what's called chemistry. Guys, I hope this helped. Um, this is probably the shortest version I can say of how to freestyle for the men. Some of these apply to the ladies as well if they are aware of these rules like I talked about. And go to my musicality folder, you will see a lot of details you will fall in love with. Thank you for watching, leave questions in the comments below so I can have more ideas except combinations to give you like salsa talk. See you on the next video.